So what we're going to go over in this video is how to use the trim command and kind of all the features and little settings that go along with it. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, first we're going to need some items here. So I'm going to put a circle in here, um, add some lines, maybe a rectangle or two, just so we have some stuff to play around with. Now, again, you can use whatever you want, but this is just how I'm going to mess with the command. So what we're going to do is basically just learn the trim command. So the trim command is located here. It's on the modify panel under the home tab. Now you can also type in TR enter if you wish. So this command can be confusing for some. Um, basically, it's kind of based on the order of operations on how you can really master it. So um, just real quick, so if I want to trim off this part of the line, only keeping the inside of the square here, if I go to the trim command, it's going to first, you you got to kind of pay attention down here. See where it says select cutting edge. That should be your first clue as you're not selecting the line or the piece of the line you wish to trim yet, you're kind of creating the cutting plane. So the cutting plane is going to be this rectangle because I want to trim off everything outside of the rectangle. So I'm going to select the rectangle, hit enter, and then therefore I'll be able to trim off everything along the outside. Now one thing to note is since none of these lines intersect with the rectangle anymore as they're all inside of it, if you notice I cannot trim them. So the same thing holds true with circles. Let's say I wanted to keep the inside or I want to keep the outside lines and get rid of the inside line. If I clicked on trim, I could select that guy there, hit enter, and then select the inside line, and it would remove that line as well. So this is the trim command. It's a very basic command. Now there's a few other things you can do with the trim command. So let's say I have some lines here. Oops, let me just uh, make this a little bit more easy here. Let's say we have several lines come across here. So all these are individual lines. So again, if I want to trim off of this side, I can click trim, select the line, hit enter, and then I can hit F for fence, which will allow me to kind of go through and automatically create a fence line, which will automatically go through and cut off that side. Now again, if I did it again and I went to this side, notice it wouldn't trim it off because again, it's not intersecting the line anymore, or I should say it's not crossing the line anymore because technically it does intersect at the point. So that's another trim command that you can use to kind of help yourself out. Now, the opposite of the trim command is the extend command, which uh, we're not really going to go over in this video, but I'm going to use it to restore that guy there. There we go. So again, click on trim. And if you notice when you first get here, if you select cutting objects, notice in uh, brackets here, you see select all. Now, what that means is that instead of selecting anything, if I just hit enter, it makes everything in the drawing a cutting edge meaning I can go something like this. And again, I didn't have to select anything. The problem is, is when you have things like this, or, you know, let me make some crazy lines here. <laughs> so when I select trim now and I hit enter, it's going to make everything in the drawing a cutting edge. So if I want to trim off, you know, pieces, I kind of have to go one by one itty bitty piece. Now notice, oops, I can't get rid of that one piece because again, everything in the drawing is a cutting edge. So basically you just made everything possible to go through and cut everything. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I always tell people if you're in doubt and you can't figure out what the trimming edge needs to be, just hit enter there and then go through. But you got to watch out because it's going to be piece by piece sometimes. So watch out for that. Now there's a few other things in here you have. You have uh, project and edge and erase. So you can play around with those as well. So if we click project, so basically we can trim an object through a projection plane. Um, if you notice right here, we can enter a projection option here so you can give it a UCS and trim from there. I don't nearly use that one too much, I'll be honest with you, but it is there. Also, if I go to trim and I hit enter all again, notice there's a few other ones. If I do edge, it'll ask you to extend or not to extend. So we can say extend and then you can kind of mysteriously trim things a little bit better. Um, Honestly, that'll just probably mess you up a little bit. So I'd stay away from it a little bit, but note there are pieces here. This one here I never really mess with. Um, select objects to erase. So if I wanted to erase this object while I was in there, if you notice, it's going to let me erase certain pieces. So instead of clicking trim, you're basically kind of erasing in between. 
Um, I really haven't found too much of a use for that yet, but note it is there. So that is the trim command. Now those last few that I did are very uncommon. I don't see them used too much and I don't use them myself a ton either. But note they are there and they can help you, especially that projection one. Um, I've used that one occasionally, but as far as the other two, I have not. So again, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you need anything, please post a uh, comment below if you're looking to uh, see a video on anything else. So that was the five minute video into the trim command.